Be Hello fair. everybody, welcome to the season 47 first round match. Oh my god, we start with a blitz. Hancock versus Fianterik. In the booth with me is Dimmy G and Calcium Kaz. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's always it's always a fun start to a game, isn't it? Um, you know, it's not game breaking at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So he's yeah, he's got his Hancock started with his Blodge Garda. Pinned against the sideline by a strength four wolf, amazing. We might push him up and pin him with the golem there. To be fair. Mm. And he's got a, he's done a lot of TV here, Hancock. He's got a wizard, he's got a bribe, and he's got setek. Um, so similar to the situation that I found myself in, except Hancock does have a tackle pommer for the high roll, and he's got a dirty player for the high roll, and he's against a much less agile team, so there's more. There's more chance in a way, but also he's just like, how do you outplay somebody that well when they've got that much more guard than you and Mighty Blow and everything? This looks really horrible. For Hancock, I think. Unless he's super, yeah. super high rolls. Oh, Dimmy 5G is injured. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Niggled? Regen, there you go. Talk, talking about high rolling, um, th this is what Hancock's got to do. He's got to get a few removals, negate that extra guard. Doesn't he? And then, you know, he's in with a shot. Yeah. I mean, it's possible to surf the wolf. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, it's probably not going to happen, but it's possible. I mean, is it? is very it? difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nearly impossible, but it's possible. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's <clears throat> so nearly impossible. Yeah, do you know what? I, I can't see a surf there. Yeah, mm. this is a lot easier way of doing it. Yeah. You'd have to like you'd have to break tackle in, uphill him, yeah. <laughs> and well, here then we go, here we go, here we go, and or you can just pom him. Dimmy giving it the. Oh. Can you see the play, guys? <laughs> oh. I love fist. <laughs> I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah, never living that down. Fist. <laughs> 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 Shut your eyes, Nick. I, I tell you what, boys. I'm, I'm, I'll try not to talk about it too much because obviously you, you know, we're here to commentate on Blood Bowl game. But how much fun is it that so many people have enjoyed our Dungeons and Dragons experience? You know, oh it's, yeah, it's, it's just amazing, isn't it? You know, because we, we were, you know, we're a bunch of noobs at Dungeons and Dragons. We, we don't really know what we're doing, and people seem to enjoy it, <laughs> which yeah, is great. It is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Dim's voice. Wow. <laughs> wow, it was too good. Yeah, it has been amazing. Yeah, and if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you check out Five Idiots, our new series yeah. of Dims and Dragons. It is it is incredible fun, yeah, unbelievable. And great, as you say, yeah, great that everyone's enjoying it. Thank you very much, Faulty, for running it. Uh, very nice. Oh, yeah, it. massive props oh. to <gasps> Oh, oh, that is brutal. Is oh, terrible. my lord. <laughs> terrible decision to roll quads there. Uh, you've got to get better than that, Hancock. <laughs> wow. That's brutal, isn't it? That's uh, uh, interesting, yeah. Hancock's probably had worse starts to a Blood Bowl game. Um, you can't remember when. But yeah. um... <laughs> I mean, he gets, he gets blitzed. Blitzed on then quads. <laughs> yeah. First action quads as well. <laughs> My God, he obviously needs to get some dice rolling tips from Dimmy, you know. So, uh... wow, I obviously gave him a few before the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really looking bleak for Hancock now, and it? it's yeah. really looking bad. Yep, this is looking. I mean, don't say it's over. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but it's looking real, real bad. Oh wow, he's just coming straight in with a dog for the one D pal. Oh mate, <laughs> and he picks it up. <laughs> oh, wow, bolt, bolt to not lose. Even the bolt doesn't stop you losing here, basically. So I guess you've got to give up this score and then yeah, make I, it one I, one, I, yeah. and then use the bolt to go win two one. Yeah. So you've got to really somehow good. pressure him. Like I don't even know how you pressure him to score to make it one one at half time, but I guess that's what you have to do. Maybe you could bolt and rely on the edge four to pack, but, but what do you even hope do you have? I guess you've got to put everything into stopping the stall at this point. 
Yeah, and his rackle guys on the floor can see quad scope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or set it's a tech. Strip ball, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure it's even worth doing though. I it's... think it. Oh, he hard powers. Yeah. Because it's like two GFIs from alone, alright? Yeah, I, I think it. It's a strip ball though, isn't it? That's yeah, but, but what do you do if you get the ball out? Like, this is what I mean, right? I, I think maybe it's better to just try and get people back, you know, here, right? Try to get people back here. What? Wow. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mad bastard. This is, I mean, this is extreme dice rolling now, isn't it? Yeah, he's not really got a choice, has he? No, exactly. But yeah, I thought maybe it's better to just, like, try and blitz, you know, one of these, maybe? And try and just get down here and try and stop the stall, like, rather... But, I mean, obviously this worked out, so... Fair play. But the problem yeah. is, he's probably just going to lose it again, and then lose it again. This... Wrestle. Strength 4 wolf can come down as well. To be fair to Hancock, though, it was a really spirited recovery, wasn't it? You know, yeah. um... Uh, I mean, he's not recovered yet, though, is he? That's the no, thing. Well, no, that's right. No, it's 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 a mini recovery, isn't it? Oh. Um, you know. There's the power as well. Yeah. This is a bit spicy from from Fianturic. He could have just gone with the tackler, couldn't he? But... That's just on the bludge guard. And then it bounces. Sky, <laughs> <laughs> Sky catches it on the bludge guard. <laughs> Flip me. Well, at least Hancock's luck is consistent right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. He's got the yeah, he's got the 2D here. For the strip. Yeah. He's got the edge 4 there. This has actually worked out quite well. There's nowhere to go with it. But... Nope. There's still absolutely nowhere to go with it. Hey! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, <my> God! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it was at this moment Hancock knew he was fucked. <laughs> if only we had Elliot for this one. It's all there. <laughs> Pretty mental, isn't it? To be fair, it really is. Yeah. And the good news, like the good news, is, is he's still got all these players. Yeah, he hasn't had removals at least. Yeah. And actually, even failing the GFI there, he's got it away from some good players. Yeah, and he's. I don't know, I don't know about that reroll there. He's two players up. No. If yeah, Fiantaric's just gone mad on his rerolls, hasn't he? Uh, no, mm -hmm. no one's got any rerolls left. <laughs> yeah, and Hancock hasn't really no. had a lot of choice, but yeah. No, oh, I know, yeah. But like now, he's he's overcommitted, I guess, Fiantaric somehow. Somehow. Somehow, some way. Yeah. Because now there's actually a chance of a break, isn't there? You can punch him, you can power him with a rackle, and you can, you can run away. And there's there's two versus three, so he's outnumbering here. Like I don't know how it's got the point where Hancock can. Okay, he can't get away that far, but he, he can get away a little bit. Surprising, he can even get away that much. Do you think there's an element of Fant obviously taking? You know, because the game was going so against Hancock, Fant sort of taking his foot off the gas and becoming a little bit complacent. Um. <laughs> I guess that has yeah. to be the case. I just don't know how it's happened. <laughs> because it doesn't seem like he's, do he's done that, does it? It didn't feel watching that he did that. Uh, how did he have a reroll for that? Did I miss it? He had a Hancock was out of rerolls. No, not Fiantric. Uh, Fiantric had one left. Oh my god. He's one in nine. And now Hancock is away. This is insane. It <laughs> is, isn't it? Uh, easy. Easy eight turn stall. There you go. That's how it's yeah. done, boys and girls. Yeah. If anyone wants to know how to do the eight turn stall, it's uh, being demonstrated here by Mr. Cock. Yeah, perfect eight turn stall. No, uh, no, there's only one ghoul on the on the necro, and he's not on the field. I guess that doesn't help. So he has uh, hasn't got actually that many reactive players. Yeah, and he's down two players as well. Oh, no, he's got one. this one. He has got two, so he's just not feeling one. 
So, so he had five. He had five reactive players, and I guess somehow they all got tied up. Yeah, it was set it when it was shit ball, and then. I guess he went too Cat. hard for the ball. I guess he did go too hard for the ball. Like, right? well, he caught it. He caught it on the blodge guard guy. He'd already activated as well, hadn't he? Mm. So he couldn't. He couldn't score. Like he couldn't pick it up and score. Nice little chain push, though. Mm. I think. I think what he should have done is uh, is not committed that strength ball. I didn't like that. I much preferred like when he had that guarder, the the ghoul guard. I would have. I would have blocked free the tackler, and the tackler could have uh, gone five down and hit up, and then. Uh, Oh, okay, oh, mummy. I would have done that, but, but instead he got the he got the strength four wolf down, and I guess that's how he overcommitted. Which I, I mean, I did say it was spicy when he did it, because um, oh. I didn't think of doing it because it was adding re rolls and it was bringing him in. So yeah, maybe that was the mistake. The cost him, cost him the drive somehow. But yeah, fair play to Hancock for for hanging in and and. <laughs> Doing the, doing the crazy plays. A lot of coaches' heads would have dropped, um, and a lot of coaches would have given up at that point, and they they would have just thrown in the towel, you know. Yeah. Given given the drive up, there's no quitting Hancock. Yeah. Yeah, like he's like his JFW uh, counterpart. This game, unbelievable. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't. I don't know. It's it's weird. Like I, I would have definitely. Uh, I would have definitely given up on stopping the score and like trying to get the ball back because it just seemed like the recovery was so incredibly unlikely. I would have just tried to get people in the way and, and hopefully stop them stalling the entire half out. But fair play, Hancock somehow somehow turned it around and got the tuddy. That uh, was crazy. Absolutely yeah. crazy that drive. Yeah, insane. Is the mummy back? Yep. Yep. Good. Like, I wouldn't have felt confident of doing that using the wizard. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's how desperate I thought it was. I thought I wouldn't even wizard here, because it looks like even if you use the wizard, you still just get sacked again next turn and still lose. So, so just try to get something back there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jim. Unbelievable. Uh, hello, Dadle. Not done D D Dave or, or sick as eggs yet. Uh, we have only have two more games to go this round. And it the is famous sick as eggs. The famous Tomb Guardian sick as eggs. And, oh, wow. and Andy Davos matches are the only two left to do. Oh, how'd you like this up? Um, fine. Because mm. yeah, you've got really strong sidelines, haven't you? So be because you can have make such strong sidelines, then you get a stronger. Oh, range. it's two turn. All right, and sorry, mate. Two turn. Yeah. I thought it was like yeah. Of course, you couldn't still get good. Uh, very good physics. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. I mean, you can still just, you can still just hit the, you can still just hit the uh, mummy, mummy, and then knock him down, and then get the strength four wolf through. So it's not that good, but yeah. I mean, he has a pretty perfect Oof. day. Gets a bit oh, better with a perfect day. You love it. Who doesn't love a perfect D? Diced. That is a bit of a dicing, isn't it? Mind, you can't complain about the dice fiantric. <laughs> After that blitz and those quads. I wonder if he should have uh, gone for a wolf to try and blitz through. You know the strength for a wolf? Could have hit to there, oh, and then there, to then to there, and then tried to like do a 4 3 to actually get through. Because how's he going to score otherwise? Hmm. I guess he ain't. Yes, it won't. This is too easy to shut down, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah, the wolves are in range, but it's too easy to shut down, isn't it? Oh, oh, cheeky dodge. Quite like now, that. now one can just be chained out of range. In fact. <laughs> mm. Yeah. What? Dodge the goal. And hit with the mummy. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then we just gotta worry about the side stuff for later. Mm. Oh, she's not hitting the wolf, yeah. Sure. Ducks, ducks. Jugs, jugs, we can get you can get the uh all <laughs> okay, yeah, I hated that. But you get this guy in first, right? Double key! Double key! Kill, Kaz is oh, in regen. Huge regen. It's always disappointing when you don't see that red cross fly up on the screen, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, mate, tell me about it. Unless it's me. In which case. <laughs> Guys. I'm incredibly happy. <laughs> <clears throat> So here, <laughs> I think you have to dodge with a fleshy. <laughs> Run around. One, two, three, four. GFI, GFI. Punch him into him, into there. And then punch him to get him diving up. So you could. You could. Not with that foul, though. <laughs> no, not anymore. Yeah, you can. Oh, right. Well, yeah, you get him into a big box of bodies, right? Yeah. And then he goes nowhere. Yeah, he'd, he'd go there, and then he'd have like a, he'd have a four three to get through. So he could have, he could have chained him in range. But I mean, it, it took a fleshy dodge and all that sort of stuff. Oh, oh the two plays goals and <laughs> stealth cares. Oh. And now this has suddenly been a, a great half for Hancock, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's definitely yeah. He's up here. What the hell? Still got his wizard. Oh, it's, the team, it's the team name, Jim. That's what it is. It is, yeah. Yeah, it's a great team name. It's the power of the team name. Oh yeah, he's on defense. <laughs> oh, doing the uh, doing the necro setup. I do quite like. No, he's not. He's just doing real fast. No, he's just doing something completely different. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Space Invaders, but one square back. I like that one forward if, you, if you're going to do that, because then it, then it fucks with the LOS, right? With the, uh, the, the wolves on the LOS. Maybe it's quick snap, isn't it? Yeah. But it's hard for people to set up. If people set up to take advantage of that quick snap, then their setup is worse and they're really exposed to a blitz and stuff. I, I never use my wolves on the LOS. There's just there's too much work to think about. Mm. And the thing is, is even when you hit them, like, you just expose them. Yeah. Oh, hey! <laughs> dirty player! Best casual, player. Casual That's like zombie the best cat. kick. That's the best kick ever. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kick it to his dirty player so he can't foul me. That he moves the dirty great. player before handing off. What? He's not going to hand it off. Is he'll hand off when it's safer on another turn because he's got too many LOS box to make and the zombie was ex exposed. The zombie was exposed. Yeah. I mean, he could have, like, moved over a bit. <laughs> yeah, but he, he, if he didn't want to move over first, he, he could have moved over first, then done the LOS box. And then oh, snap arm. Gearheart snap arm is only temporarily dead. Yep. He's a zombie, of course he regens. Zombie have plus two to regen. <laughs> uh, ghouls have minus two to regen, of course. <laughs> ghouls have got minus three to regen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nice little shape. Yeah, see, this is this is stronger at the end of the turn by not handing off, and then he can just hand off next turn when it's already strong. And it doesn't, you know, he can do all the blocks and important shit first. Yeah. Is he blitzing a little zombie on the end? Yeah, yeah zombie on the end. No. No? No? Not blitzing? Not blitzing at all. Hmm. Obviously he saw Setek in my chalice match and thought, I ain't blitzing with that bastard if I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> the best oh. way to win Blood Bowl, don't roll dice. Yeah. 
So yeah, big, big, uh, big commitment here, but it does get to nail, nail an annoying goo. I hated leaving that goo high and dry there, but he's got away with it. I mm. and dry. But then he's exposing the mighty blow tackle. Though I guess the, the big dog has got a. Uh, has got tackle as well and friends. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog with a football. It, it was it was Kavo, was it? Who had the strength five werewolf in Chalice one yeah. time. That was that was literally insane. Yeah. Like just he, literally insane. He still did he still did full dickhead necro blitzes of blitzing and dodging away as well. It was amazing. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> You know what, I think I prefer Strength Wolf to a Mighty Blow Wolf. Yes, definitely. If you're ever lucky enough to roll double strength up on the likes of Werewolves or War Dancers and don't win Chalice, you're a massive bellend. <laughs> so that's Daedal, Jimmy, and Kefo. <laughs> yeah, bellend. <laughs> the bellend brothers. <laughs> was it? No, hang on. Was it, it was that season where like everyone had a show of five catcher. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah, yeah. A few, there was a few. There, it's more than a few, isn't it? Obviously, it was, you know, yeah. famous examples are, you know. Um, I think is it. What's his name? The guy who beat Cruz. Uh, just oh no, what's his name? He's a really slow player. Uh, you know, Mad Jake. Mad Jake. Oh, Mad Jake. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he had one. Yeah. 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 But you know there are some very famous examples, aren't there? Obviously, you know um, our, our cherished leader of Team Fantastic <laughs> being one of them. <laughs> yeah, Belend. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I nearly won. In my defence, I nearly won. I was so close to winning. I love the way you handed off and it just popped straight out of the cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why would you like? Why would you cage like and then hand it off to a corner of the cage? I don't know. Yeah, it was. It was odd. You put the guy in the middle and then hand it off to him while he's in the middle, wouldn't you? Like, yeah. Some, I don't know, like, maybe not a full cage. Like maybe a space cadet cage. But... Yeah, like just make a layered cage and like don't just yeah, make a tight cage and then do it like that. It was so weird. It was uh, a bit weird. I mean, it doesn't mean really that. Probably what happened, he probably just changed his mind, right? He probably just yeah, thought, okay, yeah, yeah. here, and then thought, oh, fuck it, I'll handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Now he gets to foul, the mummy. Three assist foul, huge dice roll coming. Yeah, decent foul on it. Woohoo! Regen, though. But for the Regen's drive, cheating. Regen's is, cheating. Yeah. For the drive, that's great. That that almost secures Fjantric's score now, doesn't it? Really, being down a mummy is is terrible. Like it's, I feel it's like really I feel good. like we've been here before, Jim, where we've said Hancock is in trouble. <laughs> um, do you know, I I think we need to stop saying that every time we say that. <laughs> Some insane shit happened. Yeah. I mean, he is in trouble. He is in trouble. But can he can he turn it around? He's got the wizard. Yeah, down a mummy is trouble. I agree with that, Jim. Yeah, it's, like it's definitely trouble. Like, it's, and it, like I know it's just a zombie, but like a guard block zombie as well is a pretty good zombie. It's about as good as a zombie gets for it. The wizard help. is huge here, though, isn't it? It's a really nice deterrent. Um, that doesn't help the cause, but it's just as yeah. zombie in it. No one cares. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Big hit on the big hit on the mummy, maybe. Didn't follow. No, I thought when he'd followed with the fleshy, I thought maybe he was going to try and try and attack the mummy there somehow. Holy pals, Batman! He's <laughs> yeah, he's, that pals he's huge because that allows him to nail this ghoul. And the he? stun, I was he's going to nail that other ghoul now, any all day. Yeah. Oh, why aren't you hitting him with the mighty? Yeah, Jeez, out of like mighty. I know it's two chances to hit him, but. Oh God! It's him with the mighty, you jockstrap. Seriously. <laughs> anyway, it wouldn't have broken anyway. You know, hindsight proved him right. And that's yeah. why he's in Palace and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the wizard's worth it there. Really, you could think hey, about it, but I don't. Hey, think you so. keep it for overtime, right? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. 
Keep there's an argument for it. I'm, I'm sure there's an argument. It, yeah. For yeah. It there. Unless it's like a, a, a blatant stop or a blatant turnover. Ooh, oh, that is huge. Huge. Yep. Oh, Expose I bet. I bet. Wolf. <laughs> How'd you like your fucking wolf now, <laughs> limpy bastard? <laughs> <laughs> I bet there was that a fist bump there. <laughs> yeah. that, that, a little that bit too been, much. <laughs> that would have been a fist pump for me. Yes, that was huge. But that, that's another reason why you should blitz with a mighty blow, right? Because, like, what do you have to do in this situation? Don't let him... Don't let him take out your win cons, right? Yeah. And and that was his... Parole. His biggest win con exposed to a 2D with Pom. And... Yeah, that's and absolutely punished him. Oh, Instant that's... full cock punish. Hello, Volk. This is... um, And, and the problem with that... Wolf being out is that's your chalice up in smoke, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Hey, what is it? What is it? Is it dead? Is it? Might movement move. busted. So it's MNG'd for a start. Uh, the movement bust you can live with, right? A movement bust on a werewolf of that stature isn't catastrophic. The it's catastrophic part of it. It's well, it is. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's horrible. It's the MNG. Yeah, yeah. It's the MNG that's catastrophic, isn't it? it that that's what's. Well, he's got to get through this game. Like that's the yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah, like, exactly. Been out for the rest freaking... of this game is bad enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, like, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's especially still against the wizards, um, and like Cox guaranteed the mummy back, right? And uh, yeah. he's only like Cox only got one KO. Everyone else is guaranteed to come um, back. This is wizard bait. Oh no, and the dead zombie. Yeah, yeah I think that is wizard bait. Yeah, yeah. I think you couldn't. Yeah, I think you have to be pretty crazy to wizard this, like. Yeah, well, that's why it's bait, right? It's it's just purely it would be for attrition. Like he's, yeah. your reactive players are too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he he deliberately did that to bait the wizard there. Um, Hancock showing his blood bowl chops. Yeah. Not buying it. Tradesman's exit. <laughs> <laughs> Entrance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the tradesman's entrance. <laughs> I've used a few of them in my time. <laughs> We did use a year's supply of double entendres, didn't we? During that, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh my god, it was brilliant. <laughs> Fresh column regen. Regen is doing overtime this game. <laughs> it, is, yeah, yeah. it is. It is. Apart from the uh, werewolf. Yeah. Sad. Hello, I don't, know, I don't know about anyone else, but I will never tire of demon cock jokes. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, they're cheap and easy, but they're still good, aren't they? <laughs> but hey, carry yeah, on, hey. five idiots. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. I used to love the Carry On films. Yeah, so Sid did I. I, I. I don't know if you're still allowed to like them. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably not. Probably not. They're not politically correct, so they're not funny anymore. But yeah. they were. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but they were funny. Oh, here we go, what? we come in. Edge 4 is right there, isn't it? And what, what, Oh my what god, dies. you luck a dog. And plus, this was, this was, yeah. as Hancock said, influenced like, by yeah, the really going to the dentist, right? So, yeah. far better to just go for this now when in, when in normal time. Yeah, he's, he's in, do you know what? That was a good wizard, wasn't it? He saw a hole. <laughs> Kaz with the... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the result-based wizard analysis. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, yeah, I, 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 I didn't hate it. Um, the one down, it's the fact that he's got guard makes it a bit harder. But yeah, yeah, it was, it was certainly a great result, wasn't it? And I, I didn't. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a great result. Yeah, and no, the edge four was what? there, and like the setback was there and stuff, so it was. Fortune favours the brave and all that, and uh... oh, and just the four plus, mate. That makes me so jealous. I've tried about seven dodges with ghouls and one in nine six of them <laughs> like, in like two days. It just does a four plus like it's nothing. Well, you're just gonna wait from the ball. Yeah, that's weird. Because oh, he had to get okay. in scoring range, right? He had to get in scoring range. Oh, he just he just realised yeah. probably that he had to get in scoring range. Yeah. <laughs> so. After four. Oh, oh, tackle on the oh, werewolf. Rackle oh, Ghoul, mate. Rackle Ghoul is like amazing. I is. love I love Rackle Ghouls. I love Rackle. Rackle's like I know like everyone's mad on claw pommers and that. I am a big fan of Rackle. I just love it. Yeah, it is good. 
It's so good. The utility piece is like my favourite. It's like the uh, what's his name? Who's that really mm -hmm. crap player who used to play for Leicester? Who's oh. he? Is it? <laughs> nah, nah. Savage, Robbie Savage. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like the rack always like the the Robbie oh. Savage of CCL, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Just I'm... really crap. Okay, so the ball. punt there. Um, would it have been better to keep ball in hand there? Well, after he rolled a one, it would be yeah, guys. Uh... <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm just, just, no, I, I, I know, I know, I know, but just full yeah. stop because yeah. they would have had to blitz the ball carrier, and that goal in the scoring position would have been tied up. Yeah, yeah, he can't, he can't blitz it with the goal, can he? Because the goal needs to be in range as well. Yeah, so. yeah, I wouldn't have even thrown it. So he has yeah. to, he has to one D with a zombie, and then I would have said, uh, wouldn't have even. Having said even that, been. having said that, on a two plus, he just wins, right? Yeah, I guess so. But then he re-rolled oh. it. He rolled the two plus and then re-rolled it, yeah, which he shouldn't have done. Because the, the two was an inaccurate, wasn't it? So he would have... Well, it depends how no, far he... No, um, he, he would have been going for a... He would yeah, have been I think going two for a long path, wouldn't he? No, no, I think he was just doing a short one. Oh, was he? Uh, two would have been inaccurate then, yeah. 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 And then and then you win anyway. Yeah, you know, and... Hancock's that, that's the thing. Hancock's that's the type of guy that will own a mistake like that. You know, he won't. He won't come up with a big rationale as to why it was the right thing to do. He'll just say, "Yeah, I fucked up." Yeah, <laughs> you, the, the you thing gotta is, respect that. The thing is, is like as well. Is it all comes down to the point? It's like, do I roll the dice or do I let my opponent roll the dice? Argument, and I don't think there's a right answer either. So it's like, yeah, yeah. it's like he Hancock just wanted to roll the two plus to win it, and then. Rather than have your opponent yeah. roll the six plus to win it, do you know what I mean? It's like Folk is right. It was a rough punish, you know. But hey, it's. Uh... I mean, it's a super rough punish. Like we're watching this as a replay, but you imagine being in this game and then living with that mistake as you go into overtime. And has he has he lost the toss here? Or... No, no, he's on no, offense. 16, okay, 10, yeah. 16, 10, oh, turn sixteen. Right. Okay. Could be worse, I guess. You could forget to score entirely. <laughs> Way. Like, wait, I'm, like, I'm like, sorry, Daedal. Daedal, right? I love you. Okay, it's all good. Peace, brother. But I've got to take a piss on occasion. <laughs> P -D -D. P -D -D. And anyway, it's stuff like that that goes down in that? legend. Isn't that, it? So it's, it's stuff like that that goes down in legend. It's great. A blitz and two perfect defenses just in this game, isn't it? Yeah. Kickoff yep. events are nonsense in Blood Bowl Two. Just quietly. Yeah. They are ridiculous, especially in Chalice. It just literally ruins games. Like bloody hell, Jim! These Blood Bowl two kids—they don't know they were alive. They should have had the uh, LRB four kickoff table, shouldn't they? <laughs> they should <laughs> have, yeah. yeah, yeah. Holy shit! Get the ref. <laughs> yeah, now that was a kickoff table <laughs> when you had when you had plus two DP and you got the ref for the entire game, which meant you just didn't get the ref. <laughs> yeah, you you deleted whole teams. Yeah. Um, this is terrible putting these on, but yeah, Fian Tarek has just said in chat, here I fuck up and think I lost the toss in overtime for some reason. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, he hasn't even got, he hasn't even got Stan Firm yet, I don't know, maybe. maybe it's worth putting them there to stop it. Oh, for the one turn, yeah. No, it's, you just, no, you put zombies there, don't you? Yeah, you've got to put zombies there, surely. He's going to foul you, as no, he's not going to foul you, he might foul you. Uh, he's got a bribe, hasn't he? He hasn't fouled at yeah, all, has he? So a, no, he's, uh, no, he has. He used the bribe at some point somehow. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. It was a stun, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, like... Yeah. It was the, yeah, it was like... I think it was very early. Yeah. Just, typical bribe, isn't it? It's like every time you get a bribe, it's just gone straight away, first foul. Mm -hmm. And then your opponent doesn't even have a bribe, and they do seven fouls <laughs> and don't get sent off, and four of them are Kaz, and... <laughs> Machina, all I'll do is now actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to play D&D &D and my friends will kill me. <laughs> my, my own group will kill me. How's your leg, Kaz? Better than your back. Yeah, <laughs> like medieval Tony Stark. My well, back is a little bit iffy to be fair. <laughs> oh, Carried all you lot, that's what it was. Safe words, linen. <laughs> And there you go, stop, you your, stop your grinning and stick your linen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's so funny that we just threw away 2,400 gold instead of rolling a dice. Quinn <laughs> uh, is a psychopath, isn't she? She is a, she is a stone cold psycho. I think you're going to need that. I think you're going to need that sleeper hold a few more times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in, the, yeah. in the next few weeks. I actually. 
I actually feel rather bad for doing that, you know, in a D&D game. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't in real life, but in a D&D game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing tank, thank you. <laughs> yeah, he was, yeah, he tanked, he tanked, he tanked, the, he did me with the old frontal assault to tank everything with brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> I'm sure if Fault Force can find a creative way to, you know, uh, bring the glued linen into our game, he will. Um, oh, man. Right, so. We really. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah, let's get it. So Hancock won the toss and has obviously received and has pawned yeah. this. Werewolf. Werewolf. I like it. Yeah. And Kazdin. Ah, I mean, who could have seen that coming? Yeah, nobody. So now... I know, yeah. Fancy leaving, you know, another key player, high and dry. Yeah, I guess he was scared of the quick score, right, with all these ghouls. Um, and then I think you just got to allow it. I think you just got to allow it. Like... I think you have to go for the reactiveness, yeah. Like, as, as horrible as it is. Because, like, Undead aren't the fastest team on the planet. Like, that's the thing. This is a pretty brutal um, turn one on the overtime minute. It's, it's pretty it is. rough. It is a bit rough <laughs> yeah. Anyway. You know, um, to be fair, losing a ghoul would have been slightly less bad than losing a werewolf, but losing two players off this turn is pretty brutal. It's oh, yeah, really losing brutal. losing the toss is brutal, isn't it? Well, that's, yeah, that's... losing the toss, you know, in most cases is losing the game. Yeah, it? in most cases, yeah. Uh, like. I might have re-rolled that there, honestly, with four. The fact you can score at any time, having the ball in hand just gains value, right? Okay. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Ball in hand. Ball in hand. And, uh, Volk, a quick score. It could, I mean, it could be pretty likely. Like, he didn't know, he didn't know it was going to be a super deep kick. And yeah. at the end of the day, when you're allowed to score any turn you want... A quick score gets a lot, a lot easier and a lot yeah. more valuable. Yeah, but and I that... just like my werewolf. I like my werewolf, and <laughs> I think it's my best chance at getting anything done. Yeah. How difficult is it, you know, trying to defend against the many things that can happen during a kickoff? It might have been, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't hate the setup. I did hate leaving the werewolf high and dry. I'd have much rather left a ghoul high and dry. But either way, he was destined to be two players down. So yeah, you know. yeah. Well, he was holding the sideline, wasn't he? And it, so he could, he couldn't, he couldn't hold yeah. it with a with a fleshy because no, be he's, got, he's got jugs. So he could only hold yeah. the sidelines with a with a sidestepper. So you either yeah. got to not hold the sidelines or expose a wolf. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. But Cox got no frenzy though, right? No, but he, he would still be able to punch a hole. That's what I'm saying. So he was defending against the quick score. Yeah. I'd give the sideline, I think. I, I, yeah. Like, maybe it's wrong, but I'd probably show a bit of leg. Yeah, I think I would have given the sideline too. Yeah, but it's certainly, you know, it's certainly not a criticism of No, not fans, at all, no, is it? No. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, he, he, he's up against it. Losing the tossing yeah. over time is, is just rough in itself. So, you know, I didn't hate what he did at all. It was just a pretty, yeah. You know, we it's joke like, about yeah, leaving like... where we'll play and drive, but, you know, in reality... Yeah, Mate, as how horrendously Hancock rolled in the first four turns, <laughs> you could still say Fianteric was unlucky not to score. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like madness. Like, it goes against everything in my brain. <laughs> well, as we roll it. Gets the one D without tackle. And it's fair enough because he's, he's, like, he's not going to win this, is he? The longer it goes yeah. on, he's got to make something happen. So yeah, I like yeah. the re-roll there. And all this, oh. and all of this, yeah. Tag the raffle, sure. Yeah. What we got to remember as well here is these guys have just played 16 turns of Blood Bowl with a yeah. bunch of ups and downs in the game. Um, I don't care who you are, you know. By turn 19 in overtime, mistakes are going to start creeping in, especially when the stakes, you know, the well, the finish line is in view. It, yeah. So 3D, very clean, yeah, like that. Love it when people make three Ds when they when they can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very clean. Oh, so he's just going full cage reset and then go again. 
Yep. Fair. Can drop back the money to support here. Even if he wants. Oh, okay. and the KO as well. He got a great result there, but if he's only going to take a 2D, you know, um, the the extra zombie he brought down, the zombie on the left, the DP zombie, yeah. was relevant. Yeah. So, again, it's minor shit, in it, you know? Oh, it's, it's also failure state as well, because if he dubs skulls, he's tagged by the zombie. Yeah. Well, he, he was he was tagged. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I know, okay. I know but it's like, a, yeah, yeah. it's like a counter assist, so... Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I, I don't like this one going forward. I, I would have dropped him back because at the moment he can he can hit here and basically with a blood step right. Yeah. It's not uh, it's not that good. <laughs> but Hancock's um, favorite buzzword in Blood Bowl is failure state. I'm, t I'm telling you, <laughs> I've been I've got the table top with him and uh, had a few chats with him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my day! There was a failure <laughs> state. <laughs> <laughs> there was a failure state for you. Holy uh, zombie. Moly. There's a zombie for cock. Mm. Brian? Maybe someone can explain failure state to me at some point, because I've heard this banded around a lot, and I ain't got a fucking clue what anyone's on about. Well, it's just so. basically, yeah, it's just like, basically, if he if he skulls there and hasn't moved the zombie in, and then, like, it's easier to knock out a cage corner and blitz the ball, like, whereas with the dirty player there, it's another assist, and it's another player that ties it up, so you'd be basically planning for the worst possible scenario. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. How how bad is the board state if yeah, you turn over on the next skull. action? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So thanks, like, guys. I was I, I was taking the piss a little bit. But yeah. thanks. But no, but pe people people are watching it might not roll right. People yeah, no, no, that's um, not true. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're basically you're basically <laughs> sacrificing equity in your turn. Exactly. Um, yeah. To make sure that you don't just give like a massive swing of equity away in. So you, you don't get as much progress or progression or whatever as you would have done normally because yeah. you've protected against something that could go wrong. Exactly, we and that's why not planning for quads is, is, is pr probably usually right, isn't it? Because it's so unlikely, yeah. Yeah, it's so unlikely that it's probably not worth losing 1% match equity or whatever um, for, the ch for the one in a thousand chance that you lose the game, but it might be. It just depends. Like, often it will be worth... Planning yeah. for quads. Oh, look at but, that! Look, you you get the big dodge in, and then you bloody snake the GFI. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's there's much better examples of it. Yeah. Um, like I can think of a few. Oh yeah, there's there, there's there's loads of times when people absolutely should have, you know, should have planned around quads and didn't, and then lost because of it. But, I um, mean, yes, Kaz's uh, Rebel game. I remember that one. <laughs> oh, I've got to take this block. I've got to take this block. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really take I, I, st I still, I still haven't, I still haven't learned my lesson. <laughs> uh, I got to find that clip. I got to find that clip. <laughs> it, it might, it might be on, it might be in my highlights reel page. Um, I, I, because I'm, I'm, I'm nothing if not a bit self depreciating. <laughs> <laughs> It's brilliant. It's like that was when I first started watching Kaz as well, and I was like, "Holy shit, this guy's what a cock!" One of the most, <laughs> no, he's like literally one of the most entertaining guys on Twitch. It's just, yeah, I was a bit angry. I was a bit angry about then, to be fair. But... Yeah, you hate, you hated me. I loved it. You <laughs> <laughs> literally hated me, and I just didn't care. I was like, "You're too entertaining." <laughs> They can base the ball with a fleshy. Doesn't know. <clears throat> wow, what a game. What a comeback. Unbelievable. Oh wow, there's quite a few clips. Unbelievable. Hello, Flux Streamer. Well, there you go. What a, what a uh, testament to hanging in against the odds and saying it's not over it's not over <laughs> don't say it's over <laughs> and somehow somehow Hancock came through that like I wouldn't like I wouldn't have said it was over or anything and I wouldn't have given up but I would have fought against it in a more pessimistic manner I would have tried to just um like cut off the support for the guy who had the ball and try and force him in early um but yeah you know Hancock was a bit more positive than that got the ball back and then kept getting the ball back and yeah just amazing absolutely amazing so congrats to Hancock commiserations to Fianterik thank you very much Dimmy and Calcium glorious yes yes <laughs> brilliant and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic